It was really hard getting out of bed this morning. I have a nice big cup of coffee to start the day. Taster's choice, instant coffee, about four teaspoons of coffee mate creamer, and I hope this does the trick today. This morning for breakfast, I'm gonna be having one of my faves. We'll start out by taking two hard boiled eggs. These are Kroger hard cooked peeled eggs. One egg is 70 calories, so two eggs is 140 calories. Then we're gonna chop up some avocado. I have used one fourth of this yesterday, as you probably saw in my video, and I'm gonna use two more fourths. Okay, for those of you that are not good in math, that's half. And then I'm gonna mash that up. I'm gonna cut a fourth of it off and save it for later. Alrighty, I'm gonna put this lid back on it and just save it like that. This avocado was really, really big. I don't think I'm gonna need all of this. When I do my calculations, I'm just gonna see what the calculation is for the calorie count for one third of a large avocado. All right, I have some bread in the toaster as we speak. So this is Live Carb Smart wheat bread, 45 calories for one slice. I'm having two slices at 90 calories. And just as a little tip, I really keep my bread in the refrigerator because I'm the only one that eats my brand and it lasts a lot longer when I keep it in the refrigerator. All right, toast is ready. Looking pretty good. Now, take the avocado, put it on the toast. I wanna save the rest of this for later. It's still a lot there. Mash it on down. Now we put an egg on each piece. Let's not get too picky here as I'm getting super picky. Well, the best part, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. And now we have everything bagel seasoning. And I sliced up four strawberries. There you have it, y'all. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. Now to eat it without making a huge mess. That's a challenge. Plus I got my tooth situation. Mmm. Just like everything I eat. This does not disappoint. It's so good. I say that with everything I eat. I'm not a real picky eater though, so maybe to me everything is so good, but this is so good. I'm gonna force down a big glass of water with this. Stay tuned for lunch. Okay, well, I still have not made it to my meal prep yet, but it's about lunchtime and me and my man are hungry. So uh, I bought those extra subs from Subway yesterday and I'm just gonna heat those up and make lunch because the bread gets a little bit soggy. I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer. So it's a turkey and ham sub with no cheese. We're each getting a six inch piece. It's on wheat bread. I'm adding one piece of 80 calorie mozzarella string cheese to each of them. And I'm throwing it in the air fryer on 380 degrees for about 10 minutes or less. 380, 370, whatever. So I already put a piece of string cheese on his. So his is ready. And I'm gonna add string cheese to mine. All right, I just tore the string cheese into three pieces and I'm just gonna throw it on there and now it only needs like one more minute to melt that cheese, but I'll get his out first. This one's his, but the bread is nice and toasty now because all those vegetables made it really soggy. You can't even tell it was ever soggy and it's nice and warm. He is gonna have Doritos and I am having roughly about five black bean chips. They're all crumbled up, but I'm gonna probably put these right on my sandwich. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Olive Garden Italian dressing. So two tablespoons is 80 calories. That means one tablespoon is 40 calories. A half a tablespoon is 20 calories. All I'm going to put is a half tablespoon on each sandwich. A 
and there you have lunch. I'm gonna have this with a half of a bottle of Diet Dr. Pepper and some water. Okay, so time to get some meal prep going, but first I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee. I'm not sure if I've done that yet on video or not, but I'm gonna go with decaf because I've already had some coffee today, so I'm using Taster's Choice House Blend, and I have some nice hot water here, and I do a sprinkle just enough to cover the top. That's how I know when it's gonna be good, so. I don't know if I can get this on camera or not, but that much. Coffee creamer. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of Coffee Mate creamer at 10 calories. Oh, this is different for a three fourths of a teaspoon. I could swear this used to be a full teaspoon was 10 calories, but whatever. So maybe I'll figure out the math later, or maybe I'll just let you figure out the math because I'm gonna do a tablespoon one way or the other. Add that to the coffee. Now, I think I have mentioned that I reuse my Tim Hortons cups. I don't know why, but I, I like my iced coffee in a Tim Hortons cup. I'm gonna pour the coffee, Let's not get too ambitious here. This is gonna make a mess because it does every time. I have it nice and full of ice, my Tim Hortons cup, and I'm just gonna dump it over. Like that. Okay, perfect. Stir it down just a little. So usually I take a big drink and then I add a little bit more ice because I like extra ice and everything. There, nice midday iced coffee. Yes, I even saved the lids. Clean up my mess. Now, what I'm gonna meal prep right now is gonna be